Pope Francis assures atheists you don't have to believe in God to go to heaven. He also said that God does not condemn LGBT individuals. God does not condemn homosexuals, according to Pope Francis, and he also suggested the church could be open to civil unions. Here he is offering incense to idols, as you've seen before on this God Sees It YouTube channel. Flagrant satanic uh, worship, modeling after worshiping the Queen of Heaven of Babylon. Here he is praying with a Muslim imam. These scriptures are a reminder. Proverbs 17, 15, He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are are abomination to the Lord. And woe to them that call evil good and good evil, Isaiah 5.20. Reminders to the false prophets, false teachers, deceivers like Pope Francis and the like, and also those who would justify them or praise them or promote them or call them good when they are wicked and evil and very dangerous to the souls of many people. So many people are still being led astray. You might be saying, oh, we, we know this. Well, you might, but so many people don't know these things yet and know how absolutely, overtly satanic the Roman Catholic Church system is and the Pope, previous Popes, etc. And all of those who are collaborating with them to drive us towards this one world religion, ecumenism, uh, false doctrines of all description. And so what does the man who so many have called today the pastor to America, Joel Osteen, have to say about it? But we've just got one more question coming through. Boring file clerk says, what's your view of the current pope? You know, the pope has obviously been reaching out yeah. and has been a force of moderation in comparison to his yeah. predecessors. What I, do you make I of it? I think the pope is fantastic. You know, I just think his tone, his humility, his, you know, I loved when he said the other day, you know, and it's, the, it's, it's our view too. We're not trying to, you know, make this a little bitty narrow thing. Anybody's welcome. We, we may not agree, you know, 100% on doctrine and theology, but you know what, we're will, the, the church... Catholic Church, our church, it's open for everybody. So I like his tone, not pushing people away, but I believe God's big and his mercy is very wide. Very wide. And we might not agree on all points of doctrine like offering incense to idols and so forth, but that's okay according to Joel Osteen because God's way is very wide. His mercy is very wide and don't make it a narrow thing. Hmm. And what did Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior himself, say? Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Interesting. Immediately then he says, Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. So share this. Please share this information. There are so many again who are being still led astray by these wicked, false teachers, wolves in sheep's clothing, Directly right out of the description of the Holy Bible, Jesus' own words, Joel Osteen has indicted himself, revealing himself to be one of the wolves in sheep's clothing described by the Lord Jesus Christ. Placing himself squarely under the judgment and wrath of God. Remember the scriptures I showed you at first, pictures of the Pope that even those who would justify or call them and their works good when they're evil are also abomination and under the curse of God. So it's important to remember those promoting these wicked deceivers and them, uh, all, of, all of the individuals that are 
in collaboration with them. They're under the judgment wrath of God. They're bringing many people into this deception. So please do everything that you can to preach the truth, to share the true gospel and the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ that we can enter the straight and narrow gate, truly repenting of sin and following the way of the true Lord Jesus Christ, the true gospel, and departing from having anything to do with these false prophets, false teachers, deceivers, wolves in sheep's clothing. And there are more resources in the description below and at the end of the video that you can examine and share. Let's glorify the one and only true God, our Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. To Him be all the glory forever. Amen.